Right, ladies and gentlemen, there are two things that I know to be absolutely true in this world. Number one, this video is absolutely insane. And number two, Buttsman Premium is the best place in the entire world to get exclusive content, cash prize giveaways, all that good stuff, a members only podcast. Go and check it out, the link is below. But before I go on any further, G'day you good motherfuckers, how are ya? I hope you're doing real well. My name's Isaac Butterfield, and let's look at a British man who thinks he's Korean. Because why the fuck not? In the modern era, you can identify as whatever you want. Now, I don't necessarily have a problem with that, but you, if you are someone who likes to identify as lots of different things, you need to be open to the idea that most people will look at you like you are fucking batshit crazy. And most people are absolutely fine and cool with the fact that some people are born into a body that they don't think is theirs. Male, female, in the middle, whatever. That's not what this video is about. This video is about believing that you are another race. Surely that is too far. Not only is it too far, but it is also a chance for us all collectively as a species and a community to say, hey dude, shut the fuck up. Brit influencer identifies as Korean after getting surgery to look like a K-pop star. A British K-pop fan has come out as Korean. Would it kill you? To just not. Have you ever considered just not? Is that coming out of the closet still? Like, is that something you sit down with your parents and say, Dad, I know you may disown me, but I can't help it. This is who I am. I am Korean. They say they identify with the culture and have had surgery to look more like BTS idol Jimin. I don't know who the fuck Jimin is. Good on you, I guess, Jimin. Killing it, bruh. Okay, all of this, in my view, can be nailed down to one thing. This guy, as an influencer, is automatically one of the biggest c**ts alive. They lie through their teeth to the people around them. They will do anything to fuck other people over and they do not give a fuck about anyone else but themselves. They're narcissistic fucks. Oil London. Ollie London, Oil London, fucking come on Butterfield, has reportedly spent more than $150,000 to look like singer Park Jimin. The influencer who uses they them pronouns, so you know that's an alarm bell straight away, sees Korea as their home country. And on Twitter they came out as non-binary and Korean by tweaking the country's flag. What a day. What a day. Coming out as non-binary and Korean all in one go. Which is a reminder to all of you on the 28th of July, I'm coming out as a straight man who is also African American. Because, well, I want to have a big dick. That's why. So you see what Ollie looked like then? Let's have a look what Ollie looks like now. Holy fucking, that's fucked. What the fuck are you doing, Ollie? 150k to look Korean. Like, oh, there's, Korean people are beautiful, but why would you want to spend 150k to look like one? In the same, well, actually, some Asian people round their eyes to look more Western, which is equally fucked. What the fuck are you people doing? But let's have a look on Ollie London's YouTube channel to see what his fans think about his video being Korean. <laughs> fuck. Look at that solid dislike ratio. I love democracy. Hey guys, I just want to take this chance to, um, you know, come out today. Something that's been like on my mind for a long time and I've been very confused about how I identify. I've been very, very confused. Okay, I'm sorry. But is this surgery, this whole thing, is it not exactly the same, and this is going to be really racist, are you ready? Don't screenshot this and send it to the Daily Mail. Is it not the same as me as a white dude just doing this? Are you ready? Strap yourselves in. It's the same fucking thing. What the fuck, Ollie? But no one blows up. No one gets angry because he's non-binary, so he gets a free pass. If this was a straight white dude and he sneezed and he slightly squinted his eyes while sneezing, they would crucify him in the streets. I've seen a lot of other people online that have come out and been very brave about it and shared their story about how they identify. Yeah, they identify as gay or trans or whatever. Not fucking Korean! You know, I've taken courage from these incredibly brave um, people and it is Pride Month at the moment, so... Brave? You're not brave, you're squinting like you're driving into the sun. That's all. You are the perfect storm of a lack of social skills meets superiority complex meets Twitter meets a parasite that burrows inside an ant's brain and makes them want to kill themselves. Think about what a living joke you are. Is this not the same as him doing blackface? Could he just do blackface tomorrow and everyone would be cool with it? 
course not. So why can he do Korean? So I am going to come out today and say that I've been transitioning. I've been very unhappy with who I am deep down um, for the last eight years. And I've, you know, I've had like 18 plastic surgeries now. Do you change at all when you transition into Korean? Do I suddenly have a much better vertical jump because I'm no longer white boy? Ollie, you are fucked, mate. I am sorry, but you are. And your name sucks. That is all. And I've just had a facelift, um, a brow lift, a temple lift, an eye surgery, a canthoplasty, um, and my teeth done as well. Um, yes, you've had all that done because you were born this way. That's like ordering a Big Mac with no Big Mac sauce, no lettuce, no buns, no bun in the middle, no meat, no onions, no pickles, and no spit from the crew trainer at the back who fucking hates themselves. Is it still a Big Mac? Fucking no, it's nothing, all right? The only thing that's Big Mac-ish here is big old Ollie's lips. Um, but I am coming out as non-binary. Um, I don't feel I identify as male or female. I just feel like I'm just in the middle. Um, and my pronouns are they, them, Korean, Jimin because I know a lot of people don't understand me, but I do identify as Korean. Mate, honestly, I know your face is full of filler and Botox and all that shit, but how do you keep a straight face whilst delivering this to a camera? Like, do you even notice how ridiculous this all sounds? But also, I guess, if we think critically about this whole situation, we are so welcoming to all other identifiers, if we identify as a wolf, or we identify as gay, or straight, or trans, or whatever, why do we put such an emphasis on someone being transracial as being so silly. It's because it is silly, but why? Why do we do that in the general community when we're supposed to be so forgiving and loving and wonderful? That's a question. It's a question to you in the comment section. Let me know. I do feel Korean. I don't identify as British, so please don't um, refer to me, any media or anyone online as British because I, I identify as Korean. That's just my culture. That's my home country. Mate, you're British. Pull your fucking head in. Um, but I just want to say to people, you know, I get so many cool comments online. I just want people to be able to respect my decision and don't be, you know, non-binary phobic or anything. Just please. Non-binary phobic. Shut the fuck up. If I see a poodle and it's got a fluffy haircut and I think that it's silly and the haircut was a terrible decision, does that make me poodle phobic? No, it doesn't. It just makes me think they're a bit silly. What we are saying is your decision making is highly ridiculous. In fact, we think you're a lot of things, Ollie. One thing we don't think you are, fucking Korean! But Ollie isn't the only one who's identifying as different race. There's Rachel Dolezal, who was running the NAACP in America, even though her parents were white, but she identified as black. There was this one. You have stepped in, into the realms of controversy by saying that you now identify as black. Now, what do you mean by that? Yeah, not only my whole body, uh, not only the appearance changed, also my feelings and my um, beauty idols, for example. No, no examples. You're crazy. I genuinely hope that the earth flies into the sun today. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Don't forget, we have a merch drop on the 28th of July. Make sure you sign up for the Good Motherfucker Club. You'll get a text message and you'll get early access to it. Be a good motherfucker. Peace to the Middle East, mid extincts. Toodle au revoir. Bye bye. Get it, boys. Get out, you good motherfuckers. How are you?